welcome back to my channel i'm going on holiday in a few days oh, i've faked sands i haven't had done my nails yet oh, that is next on my list today is packing day <laughs> those who know me will know packing is my worst nightmare okay like that's just like uh, packing unpacking i'll leave it to the last minute but i can't do that this week because my brother he's booked the flights from london but not only that do you know what else he's done bless his soul he has booked us with no luggage <sighs> i know i'm the biggest diva when it comes to holidays like i want to have night outfits bikini for every day all my makeup all my products i like to be comfortable i was like fine fine it's only four days so i can get over it like just hand luggage no not hand luggage no suitcase not even a 10 kg one for the flight only literal one bag one backpack so to say i don't even bloody own a backpack guys like what am i gonna do so then i remembered i bought this easy jet like flight bag last year and i think well it's gonna have to be i think it's okay for this flight so we're gonna try and pack for a four day holiday using only a cabin bag <laughs> We're going to Portugal, so I'm thinking this might actually be fine if I just roll up all the summer clothes. Like, I'm not gonna need a lot. So I'm gonna start with bikinis, as swimwear is my favorite thing in the world. But to be honest, I feel a little bit triggered because one, I'm on my period, I'm having the worst bloat in ever, but that just means I won't be on for my holiday, thank God. But two, I'm just like not, I don't feel ready to be in a bikini. Like, everybody's a bikini body, but sometimes you just feel you know, a bit more confident than others. I have been eating a lot of fast food, been skipping on the gym, so I'm just not at my best self, but I'm hoping that these fire bikinis bring me out of that slump. First up, I got a package from Salty Bottom Swim. I love this brand. It's a female-owned small business, but their quality is insane. They last so long. I've had bikinis from them from, from like, two years ago and they are perfect condition and they're just made with women's bodies in mind so i'm excited to try them look at the box you get i was made for sunny days yes you were the first one i got is the saint lucia sort of leopard bra as underwearing like it almost looks like a bra and a little scoop kind of like plunge neckline these are so flattering and i love the print i don't know what it is about their tops they just really like give you lift and they don't move like they're definitely bigger bust friendly i wear a medium in the tops for the bottoms i've got a large just so it doesn't dig in i would definitely recommend doing that and it's kind of like a high waisted like brazilian type like not completely a thong but it's definitely a bit cheeky i mean it's definitely a bit risky for me because i'm going on a family holiday but at this point my family know what i'm like so i just don't think they care also i love that they all come in these little zip lock bags because when your bikini's wet you can just pop them back in here uh, they are really great at doing these like swim accessories so i also got the matching shirt which i love i love having cover-ups just so you can like pop it on while you go to the bar or like when you're walking around you don't just have your ass out like which is fab and you can tie it in so many ways it's a really nice material like proper lightweight and you could even wear it with like a black bikini to dress it up a bit more but i definitely love the three piece matching set so yeah this bikini is gorgeous i'm definitely packing that the next set i got is this gorgeous print it's the fiji one also kind of an animal print but it's like blue and orange just really flattering funky colors i am a sucker for a classic triangle bikini i think it really pushes up your boobs and the little string just looks flattering on any body type like it's a classic and you cannot beat that and then i paired it with the tie side for the bottoms again i think they look really great on every body type because you can adjust where you put the strings so you can have it higher to give you like a little snatched waist or lower, whatever feels more comfortable for you. But they do have loads of different bottoms and top styles in each of the prints on their website. So I'll leave the link for you to check it out because genuinely, if you want to find like unique, different kind of bikinis, salty bottom are the way to go, babes. I love them. Next up, I got a bikini from an Australian brand, Sea Folly. Oh my god, talking about good quality, these are really, really premium. They're definitely on the pricier side, but... It is worth the money if you want to invest in like good bikinis that fit your body, support your boobs, rather than just like cheap ones that you're going to go into the sea with once and aren't going to last. Look at this print. 
I am loving it with a tan, like this gorgeous tropical vibe. Like, I think it's just really unique. This one is like a lower plunge style and it has padding, so it really gives you a little lift. I had that with the classic tie side. I've got the tops in a 10, the bottoms in a 12. Really hoping it's good enough weather that I'm gonna get use out of all this swimwear. Finally, I got sent, you would not even know this is swimwear. It's like, <laughs> a 20 ways in one bikini. It's from a brand called Ophelia B, which is actually Michelle Keegan's brand and just so versatile. So I'm very intrigued to see which ways I can style this and see if it suits me. I definitely think like a wrap style with like under boob would look really sexy. And I think black is just a classic. I also saw on their Instagram, a lot of the girls were just wearing it as like a top. You can do it in a bandeau. I literally had to watch some of their videos on their website to work out how to style it, which is good they do it. But you see, they've got this like thin strap you can have as a halter or you can just wrap this in so many ways they also have high-waisted bikini bottoms but i just got the these classic briefs which do actually have quite a bit of coverage i'm gonna wear them quite high up i did get them in a 14 again just because i didn't want them to dig in but this is more like a sexy like classic black bikini it's giving, you know, bon girl. It's making me feel confident and I could double it up as a top. But that's it for the swimwear. Of course, I'm going to link everything for you, but you have to let me know which one is your favorite. I can't believe we're already going into swimwear season. I feel like this is where I really like thrive in life. I have no other holidays booked, so I need to like get my looks out, make the most of this one. All right, now, all right, now swimwear's out the way. The hard part, we can go on to clothes. Some of these things I bought a while ago, so I might not be able to link the exact thing, but I'll try and find like a dupe for you. First up, I'm definitely wearing this. I wore it in Australia and I just love it. It's like this cute little cord from Tiger Mist. It says sweet like honey. And I can wear it with trainers. It has a little matching skirt. Just so cute and girly. It has a little bow on it and I can just dress it up or down like I wear it with a hoodie if it gets cold or trainers or sandals night out or daytime like I just love it with all my heart that brand is everything but I just hate that you have to pay so much for shipping but genuinely it's one of the nicest places I've ever shopped for summer clothes so it was worth the 90 dollars I had to pay for shipping like I don't even know Next up, um, they defo need a little steam because the hotel we're staying in, I'm gonna vlog it, but genuinely looks like a crack den. Like I don't wanna be, <laughs> I say I don't wanna be rude, but like it's, it looks dodgy, okay? But it was very cheap. It will be an experience. And I just know they're not gonna have an iron. They might, they might surprise me. But yeah, I'm gonna bring my linen trousers just because they look so good with a bikini top or a little like cami or bralette and, it's just lightweight, it doesn't dig in. I, I think it's just really cool girl holiday outfit and these I got from Glassons, also in Australia, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll try and link some other ones. I know ASOS, it's a really good time of year to get your hands on them because once it gets to summer, you literally can't find them anywhere, they sell out. Abercrombie also if you're willing to spend a bit more money and they're not see-through. So yeah, I feel like these are definitely a summer holiday essential now. And to wear with that, I also got this from Glassons. How cute. I mean, it does literally look like a lingerie top, but I don't care. It looks like one of those like camisole things that you go to bed in, but this color, the pastel, like what kind of, is it duck egg? No, I don't know what, just pastel blue. It's just pastel blue. Stop trying to be fancy, Sadie. I feel like goes with my hair and skin tone. Again, I really wish we had Glassons in England because how darn cute is this? I'm sure I'll be able to find a similar one to link for you. And I'll probably bring some like hoodies. This one goes really nice with a white set. It's just like a cropped, like metal blue. What what kind of blue? Not gunmetal blue, but you know what I mean? It's like a petrol blue. I know my color palette. What is the Pantone color of the gear, guys? I don't know what it is this year. I know it was like pink or coral last year or something. But yeah, it's like really nice, like not too thick from Boohoo, like fairly cheap, like just good to throw on even if you're just wearing jeans. Could wear that to the airport. I probably will end up bringing another hoodie because I know it's meant to rain one day, like rude. Should be illegal. Should be illegal. Like how I book a sunny holiday and it rains, like then you should get a refund. Like <laughs> then I've got this little top, which I also took to Australia. It's like backless from Bow and Tee. It looks really nice with the linen trousers, but it does have matching shorts, which is really nice for just like sitting on the balcony or like running to the shop or just as a cute outfit, actually. It has got fake tan on it, so we'll need to go in the wash. Love that for me. 
Bob's got to have a cheeky pair of shorts. These are from Lipsy. They've got some rips. They're like a light, like a mid wash denim. They're not too short, so ideal for a family holiday. So I might just pack a few more like little white crop tops or things that I can layer because mostly we're just going to be like walking down to the beach. Like I don't need to be proper dressy. I know. I know, this is actually a turnaround for me. I do need to have some night out outfits because 100% I'm taking my mum, Emma, and Danny, my stepdad, down the strip because Alba Ferra, like, it gets feral. Alba Ferra, we like to call it. Last time I was there, I was like pole dancing on the bar, all that jazz, so I need a cute outfit for that. I've got this, which is like a little skirt. It's got a butterfly and it's floral. Could wear it as a day outfit, and I did in Croatia, but I'm thinking on a family holiday, it's definitely more a night outfit. It has a matching top like this, like a plunge, looks cute. It's just super flattering, looks great for holidays. Also from Tiger Mist, I got this other co-ord, really similar, but it's this lovely green, like, sea floral pattern. Like, oh, it's backless, and it just is the most flattering thing I've ever wore. And I just think blues and greens are like, that's my vibe. Like, that's kind of my Pisces, that's what we love. And it's actually like a midi skirt with like a split, so it's quite dramatic, but still it looks classy enough for like a family holes. As I said, it's gonna get cold, so I have just got this classic cropped black denim jacket from White Box. Nothing special, but it'll keep me warm, and because it's cropped, it still looks quite flattering with little dresses, because I feel like it's gonna get definitely colder at night. So yeah, I've had this for years, and I it's like a bomber jacket style, and I wear it every summer without fail. I have so many different kind of jackets, but this one is just my trusty. So that would definitely be going in the bag, but maybe I wear this one to the airport just to save space. Everywhere I go, I have to pack these sets from White Box. You need to get something like this for summer. It's like an oversized top just with the slogan, and then it has the matching like jogger shorts. I have so many of these sets and without fail, like they are my most worn items in summer because you can just throw them on with a pair of trainers. You have instant like cool girl energy, but you haven't put any effort in and they're just the comfiest things i literally live in them but what was happening is i ended up just wearing them mostly in new zealand when traveling and i didn't look cute in any of my pics so that was annoying but yeah i have so many colors i literally have like pink dark blue white like oh, love 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 them the quality like how many years they've lasted 10 out of 10 honestly shoes wise i'm struggling a bit because there's not much space in my bag i can't bring loads of shoe options but i will wear my trainers to the airport i I'm in love with Adidas ones at the moment. These are the special, special. They're like handball shoes. So comfy, you don't need to wear them in. Like, And they've got like a little arch bit. Like, It's like you're walking on a cloud. And they're around 80 pound, which for me, I feel like it's quite affordable considering like Nike trainers can be like, 100 to 300 and i think they're just so dainty like i love the shape and the little black and pink i don't have any other trainers like this so i definitely want to get some wear out of these because i think they actually look better worn with shorts or dresses compared to jeans so i kind of got them more for a summer trainer then i usually always pack my dm sandals i think the best summer holiday thing you can wear them on nights out like i'm not going to be wearing heels so these look good with going out outfits or with like linen trousers. They're just very versatile, but they are very chunky and might take up space. So I'm going to see how much room I have. I might have to not bring them this time. I did just get a parcel though from this brand, Lindsay Shoes. They do really affordable footwear and they have so many nice styles for summer. So I needed some new like slidery sandal things because I ruined mine in New Zealand and like literally left them there because they were like actually disgusting. So I'm going to pick one pair. I've got the pink, which is like a woven or the blue. Oh, they're like literally the same color as my top. How nice like beaded how cute is that and these are just so comfy when you're walking and like you can just slip them on when you're at the beach which is ideal or i have the black which might be a bit more wearable with everything i don't know what ones do you think guys what ones i think the blue are the best but wearability wise probably the pink or black or i also got kind of like a dm style like chunky sandal i got a nude one because i don't have any nude and again these just look a bit more classy and they're a bit more like durable because it's strapped onto your foot and i like they give me a tiny bit of height and like if you're walking hiking or something not that i'm gonna be fucking hiking like let me let's be real 
let's be real, Sadie, you're not hiking. But sometimes you're walking up hills and these just like clasp on a bit better than these. You're gonna slip out of these, you know? Bring like these and these. Three options for four days. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? This is why I can't pack light. Sunglasses wise, these are my three fave, like most worn sunglasses. But again, I don't really think I need to be wearing three. So these are from Key. And they kind of remind me of like the Prada ones. Really flattering, just like a black one. They go with everything, but they can be like a little harsh if you're wearing like a light colored outfit. So I'm not sure if they're the best option, but I get really sensitive eyes in the sun. So proper blacked out ones are the best for me. And these are from White Fox. These are a bit more like funky, cute, cool girl. I don't even know what style these are. Whatever these are, like tortoiseshell, orange, Oh, see, I do love them. Oh, I don't know. And then finally, this is from Sunday Somewhere. So dirty from New Zealand. Um, they're like a thin gold frame. And these are really good in the sunlight. These are a little bit more expensive than the other ones. These are like purple. So a bit more girly. I don't know. I think I'll take two because they're only small, right? So maybe the black and... I'm awful. I honestly need like a stylist. This is why I hate packing because I really struggle with making decisions. I don't know if anyone else is the same. Like other people, they're like, right, I'll just take these. But I've got to think, oh, just to go with that outfit. And like, oh, but these ones are better for my eyes. But oh, like, and I'll just be like, oh, I don't want to do it and I'll give up. It's, it's so annoying. Now I've done all my clothes bits. The hardest bit now is going to be liquid. So like my hair stuff, do I bring my colors? I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna pack like shampoos and everything. I'm just gonna buy them from Boots in the airport. Life hack. But even like, what about perfume? I need to just like go through my bits and see what minis I've got. Cause I still need to look cute on a holiday. I still wanna have like different lipstick options and stuff. Like who do you think I am? I've got one of these cute little pink travel bags. I'm gonna pack me airbrush. Oh, it's got like ratty hair in it. Great. Obviously I need a moisturizer. I've got my honey halo one. I'm not looking good, Brev. There's not much left in there. How many milliliters is this? 30 mil. You can take up to 100 mil. Okay. Can I take a razor? Are they going to say that like I could use it as a weapon on the flight? I'm just going to pack it, see what happens. Can I take my deodorant? 100 mil. Yes, I can. Good. Won't be stinking out there then. Got me toothbrush. Also, my sweet, like, Ari perfume. How many milliliters is that? 30. I'll be fine. Guys, I'm smashing this. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. halo glow 31.5 that's really random oh i could even fit a boom boom cream because it's only 25 mil don't watch me lads best best face sun cream ever 50 mil i'm gonna take this but i'm gonna buy normal sun cream at the airport concealer the kosas one unreal my pharmacy smoothie lip balm is that class as a liquid cream contour i'm just gonna say no if I get flagged up, I get flagged up. I'm gonna pack this lipstick that I've got on because I feel like it's giving me holiday vibes. It's the NYX Fat Oil, Fat Oil Click Slick. Look, it's like a balm. But it stays on really well and it feels so moisturizing. Oh, that's only two grams. Okay, great. And to be honest, the rest of my makeup is like in powder form and stuff. Like maybe I'll take one liquid blush. I got this on today, it's so nice. The Max Factor Miracle Pure literally looks just like the Charlotte Tilbury ones. That's only 15 mil. I Guys, I've actually smashed this. Maybe I just end up taking loads because I can, do you know what I mean? Now I just gotta do like pants, socks, jewelry things like that but i think i'm pretty much done so thank you so much for watching this and get through my biggest bit of packing hand luggage it can be done maybe i don't need to be so dramatic every time now but yeah stay tuned for the albufera vlogs with my family god knows what that's gonna be like but yeah thank you for watching i love you and i hope you have the best week